Okay, let's take a look at subnetting 11. This is on something called CIDR notation, C-I-D-R. It stands for Classless Interdomain Routing. Well, that's kind of a funky name. Classless, haven't we been talking about classes? Yes, we have. Uh, but later on, we'll be getting into something that's classless. But for now, just accept the name as it is. The concept, though, is very simple. And it won't take us long to go through this. I think there are only five slides total, and that includes the title slide. So remember that a subnet mask is made up of contigu contiguous ones like this. Eight ones, and then uh, 24 zeros, or 16 ones, 16 zeros, 24 ones, and eight zeros. Those are what subnet masks look like in binary. But suppose that we just count the ones and then just report that number in order to represent the subnet mask. Not a very difficult thing to do. This one has 8, this one has 16, that one has 24. So what would that look like? It would look like this. And we use this slash, by the way, in order to uh, just separate this from an IP address when we report it. Uh, it just makes it a little easier. So we just say slash 8. So here's... Uh, 255 or, or eight ones and then zeros we would call a slash 8 this we would call a slash 16 or slash 24 a slash 32 would we ever use a slash 32 yes there are cases such as in firewalls and so forth that we use this occasionally for very special purposes what would that look like as a subnet mask well 255.0.0.0 is a slash 8 it's exactly the same thing they're saying exactly the same thing 255.255.0.0 is a slash 16. 255.255.255.0 is a slash 24. 255.255. Oops, I messed that up. 255, it should be. Dot .255 is a slash 32. Assuming that there's a 2 in front of those two fives. That's what it looks like. Let's look at an actual address. 172.16.58.9 slash 16 tells me that it is a 172.16.58.9.255.255.0.0. In other words, this 16, I can go 8, 16. I can say, well, this part is the network ID. This part here is the host ID because this 16 tells me that 16 ones. There's eight ones here. There's eight ones here in the subnet mask. Very simple, and that's the end of that one. So join me then for the next video, and uh, the next video will be on reserved addresses, addresses that we cannot use on the internet because they're set aside for other purposes. So join me for that one. Thank you for watching.